Hi there, this is Debbie. Some Deb's thing. This is um, my All Heart bracelet. I made it on uh, Valentine's Day um, as, and I dedicated it to Rainbow Loom, uh, the people that work at Rainbow Loom, um, Fan June and the staff, because um, to me this is a company that really truly is All Heart. And so when I came up with that name, I was like, hmm, how am I going to make a design that's like just like it's all hearts? And immediately this came to me and I just laid it out and it was probably the easiest design I've ever made. And it's about it looks about the same on either side except that I like the borders of the outer hearts. You can see there's a center heart and then two hearts on either side. So anyhow, this is the layout you're going to need. So you've got the three lower pins, every alternating one, and then the two one pin up. And for this design, I'm going to do it a little bit differently. I used all of the LE bands and it really seems to work nicely. Um, I would suggest maybe trying it if you don't have LE bands. Um, maybe try try it out on the um, jelly bands because they hold shape a little bit better than the opaques. But you can do opaques too. That's what I you know practice on and it looked okay. But this these bands really really are nice for this. So anyways let me think. For color A which is pretty much the background color it's like the supporting cast. Most of the bands are underneath. I'd use the purple here. I am just going to use the opaque gray since they're not part of the design per se, only the whites and the, um, oh, I'm using the same, huh, I'm going to do it a little different though. Okay, so A color is the gray, uh, the B, which are the pink in the middle, I'm actually going to be using the same color that I used over here is the uh, pearl white, and then for the pearl white on these, I'm going to use um, you. These are lemon, I think frost, frost yellow. Doesn't really look yellow. It looks like a real pale gold, but it's actually um, they're yellow. So to get started, we'll place the two bands that we're going to use for connecting right here, and then we will take. A band, A colored band, and place one here, one here, and do the same on this side. Oops, sorry about that. Okay, now your color B, which are the hearts up the center, the, the red hearts or the pink hearts here, I'm sorry, um, are going to be going like this. And then you'll take your third color, go one on this side, one on this side. Oh my goodness, my husband's home already. I'm going to have to cut this short. I might have to start over. One here, and one here. See how far I can get before he comes in. So that's the initial setup, and from here on, this is kind of going to be the pattern. We need to do place an A band on either side, and then take your B color, place it like this, and then take your third color, your C color. One on either side. Oh. <laughs> it's my doggy. Okay, and then if this one was on top here, this this one right here was on top. I'm going to place this one first, and this one second. And that's all I can do right now. I'll be back. <laughs> okay, 
Hubby's parked in the van, so I got like a minute and a half <laughs> to show you. Then I can get go in and finish it. See, here, there goes the van. Okay. So we place these opposite. Okay. So now that's pretty much what we're going to do all the way up. Is we are going to place. Two A colored bands like this. And I think I'm all, I alternating the way these go too. So if this one was first, it just instead of having um, it just look to me it looks better that way. Uh, you don't have to alternate them, but uh, each one of these and each one of these I'm going to alternate which ones on top, which is on the bottom. So now where to grab? Place the outer ones. And then this one right here was first last time, so it was on top rather, so we'll place that side first, so it'll be underneath. Okay, and then I guess I probably could have used thicker bands, but I wanted to try these opaque gray ones just to see if um, see what it would see what would happen. Okay, now this one is on top, so we'll do this one first. And then we've got these two bands. It's pretty simple. This one's on top, so we'll place this side first. And that's it. This is one of those inspired designs because uh, I had no clue of how to make it so that just pretty much the hearts showed up and nothing else. And then this C band. So it's A, B, C, A, B, C. It's super, super easy. Okay. This one right here, this, this one, is on top. So I'm placing this side first, so it'll be on the bottom. Ugh. Yeah. I don't think Rainbow Loom ever saw this design because it was the weekend they were in New York doing a big, um, uh, toy fair. Yeah, so I never heard a response from them. And they usually comment on on things when I, you know, mention them specifically. So those are the A bands. The B bands are next. This one's on top. So I'll place it first on this section. Okay, and then here I'm coming. And these. This one's on top, so do this one first. So that's all you're gonna do up to the almost to the end, and just you know stop when you get. Oh, by the way, I did twenty. This says on my notes I did twenty-two sets of hearts right here going up, and for whatever reason it seemed really big. I think there, I think you can do up to twenty-four. I forget. But this is with twenty-two sections pretty much. So you get one, two, three. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Alrighty, so remember my small wrist, and this is like, you know, it's, let's see, it's a little bit, a little large, not super large, but a little bit. Alrighty, I'm going to finish loading my loom with these bands, and I'll be back. I'm liking these colors, I'm telling you, I think it's going to be nice. I just realized after getting off camera that you do not have to alter placement of the um, B colored bands, the two that go like this. It doesn't matter because they're being looped out anyway, so um, these you don't have to worry about it. If you already did, it's not going to make any difference, but you know, if you're just starting your band placement and you just, it's just one less thing you have to concern yourself with. And just so you know, I changed 
from two of the gray bands to one pearl white. I just think it's going to be make a nicer um, connection connection band. Okay. So now we are going to take color A, which are my gray bands. We're going to go all the way up the center. Oh. This is how it should look as your last um, row of bands. You place the A and then the B, so no more C's. So we'll just be finishing it off at this point. Okay. So what you're going to do, oh, cat hairs, is you're going to be going all the way up the center like this, okay, and then on the two adjacent bars, you're not going to start at the bottom, you're going to start the next one up. There's a reason for that. It's called trial and error, <laughs> and it works better this way. So you're just going to go up all three center um, bars, single chain. The only exception is you do not place the first bands on these two rows, columns, columns, and you start them up here and go all the way to the end. I'm going to go off camera and do that right now. Now that these three rows have the bands on top. We are going to finish band placement. Um, while I said, as I said earlier, this design just kind of came to me of how to make all the ba you know, the hearts on top. What was difficult was um, strategizing how to finish this off. And one of the reasons, for, like for right here, just to guys give you a little education, I guess, from what I learned, it's the reason I didn't bring these two bands here is when you turn around and loop back up. See right, see right here. If you take add two more bands that would you know be coming up to the end here, it gets it was really bulky here. So I I realized that I didn't really need those two bands to make the design work. So that's why these two bands are not here. Probably won't make a huge difference now with me using um single, yeah, you know, just opaque bands are much thinner. But I'm just going to keep it the same. So for those of you who want to use thicker bands, won't be confused. Okay, so we're going to finish it off by taking. Yeah, I, I, it's coming back to me. You know the, the agony. <laughs> figuring out how to end this bracelet. So that's the last two bands. I'm sure. I think this is how it went. <laughs> and I'm going to use white band to cap. So now we can spin her around. And let me see. Huh. What I have written down doesn't make sense. But what I know has to be done is this. Are we ready? <laughs> I hope I did this right. I'm going to take these two out. Their sides. We are going to single chain up the center. Okay, I'm not going to show too much of that because, you know, if you don't know how to single chain, you probably ought not to be looking at any tutorials except Rainbow Looms, very basic ones that teach you the very simplest steps. And then you can come back and try 
this and everybody else's. Okay, so pretend I, you know, I single chain that all the way up. Then you're going to come back. So you need this anchored down, so you can single chain that. I'm going to take this one up. See, this is why you don't, it doesn't matter how these are stacked because they're coming off this pin anyways. But I forgot when I was talking to you because it's, I made this in February, so, you know, it's a long stretch for the memory when you've done so many other designs in between. Okay, so here we go. You're just going to go, oh, I don't like that. There's something I don't like about this. There's something I don't like about this. That shouldn't stretch out. I think I know what I'm going to have to do. Let's do this. Let's take these off. Sorry about that, but well, sometimes I write the stupidest instructions down. <laughs> don't make any sense. Okay. So that's just going to slide here underneath the cap. No biggie. That's what I, this is what you have to do. Aha, it's come to me. Yeah. And those of you who are experts, see it right now. You're ready to take these. These will be the anchors. And that way it doesn't mess up the heart shape, okay? So now that you have those, now you can go up. It's not perfect, but holds it in place and all these bands disappear you know inside the heart so I mean you can see a little bit of the purple peeking out because of these thick bands but I'm guessing that I won't even see the gray bands and I mean it'll just be a little bit of a shadow so I don't like the way that looks but it's okay it's all going to be anchored and that's what counts so do all that all the way up to the end and then this one okay so I'll be back and I finish doing all three rows of single chain looping. Now we're ready to start our looping. We're going to start by taking these center bands and bringing one out to each its home pin and then you need to go to the left and bring this to the center and then bring this one to the center and you know what we can probably take these off so they don't get overstretched and look funky at the end and then Then we're going to take these two out. Okay. Now, as far as these um, center yellow bands go, just as we al alternated the placement of them, we are going to alternate um, the looping. So I did this side first and this side second. So when I get to here, I'll do this one first and that one second and alternate it up, um, up the loom. The reason I did that is because, take this one for example, if all of this, this band right here, was on the top all the way over, it would show, it would look lopsided, I think. So by alternating them, it, the pattern balances out. Does that make sense? So this one's on top here, this one's underneath, this one's on top, this one's underneath. If they were all on top, and all these were under bottom, it would like make these, all these hearts on this side, look, you know, more pronounced and the other ones less. So if that makes any sense, that's what I did. The next step is to take this band here. I sure hope with all this work that Where is it? Oh, okay. 
that these gray bands are going to be okay. I think I have to tear it all apart because I'm not throwing these <laughs> these bands away, that's for sure. All right, that was our initial setup. So now this will be the sequence almost all the way up to the end. Go to the center and bring each B band to its home pin. Since this one was on top, this we're going to do this one first so it is on the bottom this time. And then bring these two out. And that's it. Other than remembering to alternate, I mean it's not gonna be the end of the world, but it'll you know, if you look close you'll 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 notice the difference. But let me do it a couple more times and then I'll go in watching TV while I'm looming. <laughs> I don't mind watching TV while I'm, you know, just doing something that's just, I already know what I'm doing, but I definitely, when I'm trying to create designs, sometimes I have to turn it off. So that's step one. Step two is bringing these out. I feel like I'm going in slow motion, but okay. This one is on top, so we're going to do this one first so it'll be on the bottom. bands to their home pins. I am so sorry. I am so out of practice that I did not even pay attention to the level of the battery. Actually, hmm, the display is off. I'm going to have to look at that afterwards. That's why. I just want to look up into my little screen. I can see if it's flashing, and I can't if it's not there. <laughs> okay, well, where was I? Okay, we did that. We put the A bands from here and here. Take the center bands out. Look back and see which is the one on top, which is this one. So you do this one here, and my fingernails are dirty, oh my gosh. He's out today doing stuff. And I forgot to clean the fingernails. Is it just me, or do fingernails, like you clean them, you know, wash your hands, and then an hour later you haven't really done anything, and they're dirty again? I don't know, it's just me. <laughs> Mama always told me to keep the fingernails clean. Now I'm all self-conscious. <laughs> Let me loom right here now. Let's see. Hide all my nails. Okay, I'm going to do this one more time. Then I'm going to... Grab the nail file, which was actually sitting right out in front of me, to bring here and keep on this table, because I have an extra one, to remind myself <laughs> if it's right in front of me, oh yeah, make sure your nails are, are clean and filed before you go on camera. Oh, Deborah. Deborah Lee, what is with you? Come on. 
come into the center and grab only the top one. Oh, that felt like two. These bands are really tight, the white ones. The yellow ones, I noticed some of them were a little lacking elasticity. This one's on top, so we'll do this side first. And this is it, folks. This is it's a pretty simple sequence. I think this was a God-inspired design because, you know, I thought of the name All Hearts. So, how do you make an All Heart design? And I just saw it. And usually that doesn't happen. My designs come from fiddling around and trying this and trying that and lots of experimentation. I don't have the capacity to, like, you know, schematically figure it all out and then place it. Um, it's just all guesswork for me. But this one came to me as in a vision. <laughs> Alrighty, I will be going and doing this, the rest of this loom and I guess just you know just go as far as you you know these last bands and I mean you, you probably can figure out how to finish it all the way to this but if if you're not sure just you know stop around here and I'll be back to help you so I'm back and look what I have <laughs> that's same here Nails clean this time. Yay. Okay, so I finished up the last sequence of the the um, C colored bands. And now we're just going to loop the obvious. Do this one first. Just like we're starting another sequence. And then do the middle bands. Of course. Y'all know taking the top one first. Well, you don't always. Some of my designs don't, but this design, you take the top band first. And then here. And then here. And then spin it around a little bit. Let's see. Oh, look at my, my doggy scratches. He does not want his nails cut. So, you know what? PetSmart, $9. They did it in like five minutes. That's $9 I ever spent. My husband says I have real thin skin. He goes, it tears so easy. I said, yeah, tell me about it. All right, so now we're, I'm going to reach in here, you know, and y'all do it the way you want to. I always like to put a clip on before taking off that way. I've had them slip off my hook. Yep, and it all comes unraveled after all that work. I'm not taking the risk. All right, Get that out of the way. Take it off. You do want to kind of be nice with these because these are the, you know, the outer hearts. So you don't want to mess them up and have them funky. So you all can fast forward to the end if you want. I understand because I fast forward on you guys. <laughs> no, sometimes I listen. To, I mean, you know, I'm usually taking my ba my bands off too. So in case you say something important or humorous or clever. This is probably kind of the most boring <laughs> part of a video. Yeah, watching somebody take bands off of a loom. Like watching grass grow. Okay, I don't know if it's going. Okay. These right here are kind of have. Are kind of, at least for me, are. They feel tight, so I'm just popping them off as I go along. 
the middle one's coming off by itself, so no worries there, but the second and fourth um, bars, they're on pretty tight. that I don't think Rainbow Loom took care of. I mean, these are great, but they come off of that too easily. I think if they had a... if they came out like another pin or two, and if they were, you know, at least six pins. I don't know if they have to be wider, but they need to be deeper. You know, this way. Longer, I guess. Okay. I made this one shorter and it's still way too long. What is with this? But, oh my, look how nice. I like it, I like it. Well, the grays are showing up a little more than I thought. I would have to stretch them into place. But they don't show up that much. I think it's a nice... What do you think? What do you think? Ain't she pretty? She's so pretty. So there's definitely one side I think that looks better than the other, and this is not it. Like this side looks more finished, and it's. I I never remember which was the top, which was the bottom. I wish I would pay attention, but I know I can go look at my tutorial. Let's <laughs> see. So there you have it. All finished. My design that I dedicated to Rainbow Loom. All the owners, the founders, and all the employees because they are the most heartful company people I've ever come across as far as I know. They're all heart. If you like my tutorial and you want to see more, be sure to subscribe to me at uh, Channel Deb's thing, of course, because you're watching it. <laughs> and I am also on Instagram at Deb's thing. So be sure to check me out there. And if you'd like, follow me. That would be great. Thank you so very much for watching. Bye bye.